Question number three, Jan Logie. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Tēnā koe. My question is to the Minister for Workplace Relations and Safety and asks, why has the government not yet announced its response to the Joint Working Group on Pay Equity Principles recommendations, given he's been considering them since May 2016? Uh, the Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Well, Mr Speaker, it's important that the process for addressing pay equity claims is clear and workable for all parties. The government acknowledges this is a significant issue, and while a lot of progress was already be, been made, uh, including by the excellent efforts of the Joint Working Group, it is important that we get the process right. Accordingly, the government, in partnership with a range of interested parties, is still considering the recommendations of the Joint Working Group, and we expect to have a response in the not too distant future. True, Mr. Speaker. Order. Supplementary question, Jan Logie. Given the working group comprised unions, business, and government, when will the government announce its response to their work? Okay. Uh, the Honourable Michael Woodhouse. In the not too distant future. Supplementary, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, Jan Logie. When can Christine Bartlett and the 50,000 care and support workers in New Zealand expect to be paid fairly for their important and skilled work? When? The Speaker. Honourable Michael Woodhouse. When for the process for considering uh, the equity claim that they have is complete, the joint working group principles uh, is a way of providing a, a sound framework and process for doing that, but actually they're still in a court process, and I shouldn't comment any further on that. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jan Loki. How has the government found time to focus on things like Stephen Joyce's space rockets law and Simon Bridges' pizza delivery drones when it doesn't seem to have made time to think about fair pay for women? In so far as there's ministerial responsibility, well, the Honourable Speaker, Michael Woodhouse. In respect of the last part of that question, quite the opposite. This government, the government that actually passed the Equal Pay Act 43 years ago, will also fashion a world-leading framework for the consideration of pay equity. But this is complex. The Joint Working Group made excellent progress, but there were still questions left unanswered. We're going to make sure we get that right. I'd rather get it right than get it early. Mr. Speaker. Order. <laughs> Supplementary question. Order. Supplementary question, Jan Logie. How is it the government managed to take away carers' rights in a single day under urgency, like it did last term, but these negotiations to pay women fairly have already taken nearly a year? The Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Mr Speaker, the member is not clear about the uh, first part of that question, therefore I can't answer it. <laughs> yeah, it was so meaningless. Order. To Does the member supplementary, have a first? Supplementary, Mr Speaker. <laughs> supplementary question, Jan Logie. Does the minister realise that the underpaying and undervaluing of traditional women's work, like caring, is a major contributor to the imbalance of men and women's economic position, as seen in this chart, showing the average wage of Pacifica women is just 67 per cent that of Pakeha men? The Honourable Michael Wood. Absolutely, yes. And as one who in a previous life employed many of those caring women, I think I have a significant deal of empathy for the situation they face, which is why we are seeking a remedy. But I should add uh, that the pay equity question is just one part of a broader program of ensuring equal pay for women. And I know the Minister for, Women's, uh, Minister for Women is working incredibly hard on the many other things that we can do to ensure that women enter professions uh, in equal numbers to the men, are not penalised when they take time out of the workforce, have access to directorships, and we are seeing significant progress in that regard. Question 